We live in slippery times. I do not know how you understand this statement because I am not a native English speaker, but I come back. We live in slippery times, slippery towards ridiculous, I would say, if I did not know that everything is built around us and especially inside us is chosen with sick perseverance with insidiousness, with persuasion, with a purpose, with fear, because the fear is the basis of the society in which we live. It was so and it will be so, as long as few fear you can control everything. If you are wondering what the purpose of this introduction is to an innocent film about a few birds, the answer is simple. Because I can't tell you the common name of these birds. because the common name affects the posting policies and more and more natural freedoms of human being begins to affect the correct policy like a miracle like a modern miracle So, I will say just that this bird has the scientific name, the Latin name, Parus Major. Parus Major has a wide distribution across much of Eurasia. Parus Major was unsuccessfully introduced into the United States. Parus major occupies a range of habitats. It is most commonly found in open deciduous woodland, mixed forests, forest edges, and gardens in dense forests it prefers forest clearings. These birds are primarily insectivorous in the summer, feeding on insects and spiders, cockroaches, grasshoppers and crickets, lacewings, airwings, bugs, ants, flies, caddis flies, beetles, scorpion flies, bees and wasps 
snail, wood lice, caterpillars. In autumn and winter, now we are in December, when insect prey becomes scarcer, Parus Major adds berries and seeds to its diet. The seeds and the fruit usually come from the cedars, trees and shrubs, but where it is available they will readily take table scraps, pinups and sunflower seeds from bird tables or merchant tables. Like here in this resort from Romania, Baile Olanești Resort. These birds combine dietary versatility with a considerable amount of intelligence and the ability to solve problems. Parus major has generally adjusted to human modifications of the environment. It is more common and has better breeding success in areas with undisturbed forest cover, but it has adapted to human modified habitats. But of course, its immeasurable desire and that of all the forest dwellers is to stop the irresponsible cutting of forests. The destruction of the natural environment, the pollution of waters, of the air and the earth. If we want that in future, our descendants can see yet birds stealing seeds from the merchants' tables. A future with birds, light, flight and wise mind for all of us.